My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I'm re-reviewing Thymine Carved Oud Extractor Parfum. This is £195 for 50ml or £280, £285, many apologies, for 100ml. So it says a Carved Oud Extractor Parfum. Top notes are Guatemalan cardamom. Where else can I get mine from? Well, yeah, you go Indian and Guatemalan. And Indian is used more in flavor, and Guatemalan is used more in perfumery. Pink pepper, cypress, cypress oil, heart notes are cedarwood, super, super cedarwood, patchouli, heart iris, oud. Base notes are Haitian vertifer, which is the vertifer I like. Amber, musk, sandalwood, and vanilla. Do we have our bottles of carved oud? Are we engaged with a high self? Let's get testing. So if we haven't seen the presentation before, I shall show you. Howls in a box. I think it's lovely, the, the packaging. I think it's really luxurious and so a bit mystical. So let's have a look at the atomizer. Very nice, nice wide dispersive. I have a story about the packaging. And actually, I thought I'd tell you. So I'll go right back. So initially I had the glass bottles with the white around and those were stock bottles. I've never taken it alone or investment or anything. I just didn't really see being a perfumer as a full-time job. It always, we were sort of sold bits. It was always just me doing it. I just thought it was gonna be like a, you know, like a hobby, which I love doing. I still love doing it actually. Very, I'm very, very fortunate I get to do a job which I love. I get to be creative for a living and make people smell amazing and give people an identity. I love it. But at that point, five, six years ago, I was selling into outlets in the UK. All of a sudden it kind of uh, took off and I was, I thought, right, okay, right. This is serious now, I'm gonna rebrand. You know, there's a difference between sort of like seeing it as a hobby, you know, which you love doing, you do it all the time. And okay, this is my job. And I had to close down my safety assessment and cosmetic chemistry company. That to me was like, very sad because I had that business for I think around about 10 years and I worked really hard for it and I closed down my first business because my second business took off that was a very scary moment because I was like okay this is what I'm going to do and there's no going back so I went to a company to talk about rebranding and they showed me these and they were like what I loved was the magnetic cap and that's why I have magnetic cap because I saw these and I spent most of the meeting actually completely not listening to whoever it was talking to me. I was just doing this. They were saying that they would do something similar, but sort of something different. I don't know. Never really happened because they were going to take, I'm a yesterday person. That's a, just who I am really. And this was going to take a year. You know, it was going to take six months to get this and that and the other and another six months to, you know, maybe get the packaging and I was like oh my god I'm not sitting around doing this I want to rebrand now so I took Matism to my own hand which is happening again but anyway I just want to let you know that kind of I sat there years ago so I kind of have a I kind of love it when I'm looking at it because it reminds me back of very very exciting times actually really exciting now I'm on to the third rebrand you know so we can do 100 mil bottles i want to change it again and kind of like it's not so exciting to be honest anyway on to the perfume attention to detail and all of it the reason why i'm reviewing it is because i think the first time i reviewed it was a little bit unfair because i didn't really understand about why a company would take a fragrance twist it and improve upon it if the original company is reformulating supposedly if they are reformulating a lot and kind of people are getting dissatisfied i think it's a responsible thing to do to go in there and fix it you should always twist it you should always make it better and improve upon it and refine it and add exciting raw materials to the formula to really blow it out the water that's my opinion i don't like dupes so onto this it smells different, you see, as I'm sort of smelling all of these sort of things together, this does smell different. Based upon similar sort of raw materials, the Isu Super E Helene Brassolate. But this is the sharper note to it. So within this formula, they're using linalol 
acetate instead of ethyl linalool acetate. And ethyl linalool acetate and linalool acetate, I see as sort of, on paper, they say it's how to make a bergamot or bergamot accord. And that's not quite true. This doesn't smell of like bergamot, does it? But linalool acetate can be used to give lift and liveliness to the formula and cleanness to it. And on this line, I've spoken about this line of linalool, ethyl linalool, Ethyl linalool acetate, linalool acetate, that's how I see the line. For me, the ethyl linalool, I think of more classic and sweeter. It's my most favorite, actually, of all of them. And then you have ethyl linalool acetate. It's sort of not as apparent within a formula as ethyl linalool and linalool being the strongest. And then linalool acetate is the strongest in the line. You can sort of mix around with the levels, either if you're working in smaller amounts, more cleanliness, sort of a clean feel to it and lift, or in larger amounts working sort of to support citruses. So I think of them as giving you either cleanness or supporting citruses, especially very volatile citruses. So you kind of got to have support in there. So this has got a more sharper cleanness to the formula which to me is a little bit sad because the thing I love about these sort of formulas is the softness that comes through sort of the ethyl linalool acetate mixed with the linalool if that kind of makes sense. This is cedarwood based as patchouli, vertiver. It's giving you sort of like that sort of more woody aspect to the formula. Kefales, cashmere and as well giving that sort of oud accord. Smooth, clean, smells different enough from oud wood to be its own thing actually. And that's why I kind of almost want to apologize for how I was, you know, a few years ago when I was a little bit harsh, I thought, I'm having more of an understanding now and a bit more, a bit more mellow. This has a substantial radiance to the formula. So you're getting more substantiality within the formula. And that is because they have reduced the aroma chemicals and increased the naturals. So that's one way to get that sort of clean radiance. And working with sort of like vertiver and some forms of patchouli can make things smell base heavy and things that are base heavy, you don't get that sort of radiance to it. But the radiance is with the cedar wood, giving you sort of woody radiance. Onto my final thoughts. I kind of like it, there is a sweetness to it, a sweet cleanness to it. And that is from the Lily of the Valley raw materials, as I've mentioned before, with the Hedion, with the Ethylene Bracelet and Musconone raw materials. But and this, is a, this is a bit of a weird criticism. I don't like the linalool acetate in this. And the reason that they're using linalool acetate is to give more elevation within the formula. You know, Broxing even trying this. That is my only criticism about it. I think it's very eloquent. I understand totally why it's a best-selling formula because it smells similar to Oudwood, but different enough to stand on its own. I think that's kind of all these things. I'm going to be testing them all in a minute. So I'm smelling of Oudwood for an Oudwood like, an Oudwood adjacent. God knows for how long. There's a slight sort of fruity quality to it as well, which is sort of great. I'm marking a nine out of 10. I think that the price is a little bit high. I, I love the packaging. I love the way, you know, Kind of love everything about it. I think it's great for what it is. It's giving you radiance in quite a unique way, but I don't like the little acetate in it. I understand why it's there to give sort of more elevation, but I, that's the bit I loved in the original formula, to be honest with you, is that sort of real smoothness and softness with it. And that's kind of missing within this. So I love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for fascinating, interesting content, lots of moving hands, and lots of fragrance views. Hope you're safe and well. See you soon.